Hello everyone and welcome to another What's Inside. This time we're looking at Milton Bradley's Racco. This is the 1966 version. And obviously the boxing is a little bit more vintage looking. And of course, like other Racco games, this is a deck with some trays. So very similar in look, but this is the older version, so we'll get a different style of the back of the card, that sort of thing. A bit more vintage look. This is item number 4765 from the Milton Bradley catalog. This copy should be complete. The boxing is very boring, and as you can see, the staining and soiling, which is pretty common with these old white boxes. It does give a little bit of character, but also kind of gross. So as you can see, ages 8 to adult. This originally sold for $3.76, according to that price tag. Not very thrilling box design. So let's take a look at what we got. We've got the rules on the top of the lid, or on the inside lid, rather. And pretty standard Racco rules, but you do want to have the box complete if you can, because the rules are inside. This one got a little shaken up when I was playing with it there. Now this has a felt lined plastic in here as an insert and it gets absolutely disgusting. So you'll want to try and get as much of a visual of this as you can. If you're ordering it online, you'll probably want to try and get pictures of what the felt insert looks like before you buy it because it, it collects hair and various other gross things. All right, let's take these out and look at them and then look at the cards. As you can see this one's pretty gross too on the inside. It's really hard to clean these without damaging the insert too. This was all sorts of like pet hair and stuff on this one but it's complete so take a look at what we've got on the inside. Okay so we have four trays. They are the same size. We've got two red and two white. The white has faded into a kind of cream color unfortunately as you can see it goes 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 and they're just very simple design the plastic is pretty cheap because it was high-end for its time but we have much better plastics now especially like the vinyl plastics and the 3d printing stuff is way better quality than these but these are very difficult to replace because of that so because the plastic is an inferior type of plastic, which was, like I said, high-end for its time, it is pretty hard to replicate them and find replacements. They did break very easily, and a lot of times you'll find these slats broken, or the base will have a crack in it, usually on the corner, of course, or from somebody stepping on it might be split. So you might have to find a couple of sets and stick them together to find complete ones. So to get one complete set, you may need to buy two or three of these boxes. Especially with those velvet in coated inserts, they are absolutely atrociously gross. You saw the one I have, I tried to clean it up before I went live with this too, and uh, it just wasn't very possible. So lint rollers can only do so much, mostly because of the crevices and stuff. So be aware of that, that can be very difficult. So let's let, take a look at our cards next, and see what we've got for those. Now like other Racco sets the cards are numbered 1 through 60 so you should have 60 cards I believe this is complete so let's take a look at what we've got. Notice the nice vintage design on the back of the cards it's got this kind of faux wood grain look to it it's pretty nice actually it's pretty cool very very retro if you're into retro stuff this is a good one to add to your collection and you can find these pretty cheap I picked this up for I think two bucks at a garage sale and it's from 1966, but Racco really hasn't changed a whole lot. It's just the design patterns have changed. So we've looked at other Racco sets before, and we'll probably look at a few more in the future. I think I have two different ones. But if you're looking for something that's got that really good mid-60s, late-50s look, this is definitely going to be one for you. So let's take a look at the cards real quick.
And finally, number 60. So that is what is inside the 1966 version of Racco from Milton Bradley, item number 4765. It's a good family game. It's got a lot of following for some reason, but it is a simple, easy to play game, and you can find these used copies pretty cheap, usually under 10 bucks, but of course that's all subject to change. But it is really cool if you're a board game collector, you can find these for really reasonable price complete. You'll just wanna make sure that the insert's clean and that all the pieces are there. And of course, check the quality of the plastic. Maybe the insert's not as good condition, it's got dog hair or whatever attached to it, but the inserts are in great shape. You can always get a couple of these sets and put together a nice, clean, complete one. But just be aware that the plastic does age poorly and those inserts tend to be missing or broken or disgusting. So definitely worth adding to your collection if you can find a complete copy or you're willing to clean up the insert. It's a really nice piece. So good for board game collectors to add to the collection. So that's going to do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future unboxings and reviews. If you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, links are in the description for all the uh, support things. And as always, we hope to see you on the next one.